Hey guys, this is Dave Marshall with the RC Air Marshall YouTube channel, and I would like to thank you for tuning in to the AR636 programming series, where we're going to be discussing how to program the Spectrum AR636 receiver with AS3X, safe, and a panic button. Some of this functionality is functionality that is not officially supported by Horizon Hobby, so you will not find this information in their video series, which is why I've decided to recreate a new video series that includes that information if that's something that you're looking to do on your models. Before we get started with the series, I wanted to give a couple of shout outs. The first one's going to go out to our man Pilot Ryan at the Pilot Ryan Media YouTube channel and PilotRyanMedia.com. Uh, he was gracious enough to create a playlist and introduce this video series to a much wider audience than I could have reached by myself. Ryan, thank you so much for doing that. I really appreciate you. The second one goes out to one of the RC Group's forum users named Flight Engineer, Flight E-N-G-R. Uh, I've never met Flight Engineer, I've never talked to him, but without the information that he's made available to the RC Group's community, I can tell you right now that I would not be here today making these videos. Uh, the information that he's made available, the uh, application that he put together, the Safe Model Builder application, the PDF documents that he's put together have been absolutely instrumental in allowing me to learn how to uh, program the AR636 receiver and in turn be able to share that information with you guys. So Flight Engineer, if you see this, thank you so much. Guys, the reason I'm making this video is pretty simple. I, I can't tell you how many times I have heard people flying an E-Flight or Horizon produced Biden fly model and they say man this model flies great uh, they've got it paired up with spectrum transmitter they love the flight characteristics they love how natural it feels they love how locked in it feels uh, when they're flying with the gyro um, and my goal is to be able to help people utilize that same technology in any model they want. But one of the things that I hear all too often as well is, you know, I love AS3X, but I'm not programming that stuff, man. It's too hard. Uh, guys, it's not too hard. And that is my biggest goal. My biggest outreach to the community is to hopefully be able to show everybody out there that you can program an AS3X receiver. You can put safe in it if you want to. You can put a panic button in there if you want to. Uh, all of these things are possible. They're all very simple. And that's really my ultimate goal is to be able to open that door and allow everybody that wants it to be able to use AS3X technology to get the best gyro on the market running in their uh, vehicle. Now, whether that means that you're using a brand new AS3X uh, AR636 receiver or you've salvaged one out of a plane that met its unfortunate early ending. Uh, so, you know, say you've crashed an E-Flight F-16 and you want to pull the AR-636 receiver out of there and you want to put it in something like a Mustang. Uh, that's entirely possible, but obviously they're not the same airplane. So the programming needs to change. And that's what we're going to be discussing is how to change that programming, how to customize it for the specific model that you put the receiver in and really make the most out of all of this with all the different programs that are available whether that be your PC, your phone, or using third-party applications such as the Safe Model Builder. Uh, over the course of the series, every video will have all of the links in the description for everything that you're seeing. So be sure to check the description if there's anything that you're confused about, or feel free to leave a question in the comments. I check all the comments on all my videos all the time, at least for now. Um, so make sure that if you have any questions, leave a comment. If I can't answer it, hopefully one of the community members will. Uh, that should be pretty much it for the introduction, guys. Uh, again, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Uh, if you have any questions at all, leave them down in the comments. Uh, again, check the description of the video uh, because all of the links to buy everything, all of the download links, all of the links to the forum pages, documentation and things like that are all gonna be done in the description. So check it frequently throughout the series.
And lastly, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel so you can be, uh, and hit the notification icon, ring that bell, so you can be notified when new videos come out. Uh, this isn't the only, you know, set of videos that we have, and we certainly have a lot more great content coming your way here in the near future. Again, thank you for tuning in, and let's get ready for part one of the AR636 programming series, Getting Started.